Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for today's video, I'll be doing something slightly different from our usual video. Instead, I'll try to answer some of the questions I've posted out early on last week. So if you guys remember, we actually posted a pictures of five crabs, uh, which is what you see over here. We actually posted it on Instagram and we posted it on Facebook as well. So we actually had at that point on the 15th of April, five different crabs that were about to spawn, right? So we had five of them, which, you know, looks like this. This is the first crab, second crab, third, fourth, fifth. And we actually posted in terms of a question, and we asked everybody, mainly our followers on Facebook, Instagram, on which crabs do they think had the healthiest eggs or egg mass right, from these five different crabs. So if you look at a lot of the answers, you know, a lot of them actually said that the black color eggs were actually the healthy one so this video is actually for me to address some of the questions or misconceptions about uh, the crab hatchery part because i can tell that you know not everybody's uh, very familiar with this so this video is about this on where we explain what in terms of a uh, healthy eggs do we mean and how does it progress over time so here we have an example right of a crab um, that will actually spawn in our systems so we can actually see that i actually gave you a snapshot of how the crab actually look like throughout the first day it spawn or extrude these eggs uh, which is something like that um, you can see it carries a quite a big egg mass and i would say this is actually a good characteristic of uh, healthy eggs uh, and not so much on the color because the first few days it will only always be orange you know you might argue that on the second day it's a bit more orangey than the, the third day but you know this is probably due to the different cameras that are used in the process so you can see that you know once it has a big healthy amount of egg mass over here on the first day it what they call spawn the eggs or you can call it extrude the eggs what they tend to do is they will collect all the eggs below their abdomen and Similarly, you will almost see that nothing happens throughout the first three days, and you know this is you need to make sure that the crabs are actually held in very good water quality to ensure that they do not lose their eggs under stress. And when you go on to day three and day four and even day five, sometimes it will start to get a bit bigger and a bit rounded shape because what the crabs will tend to do over time is they will remove some of the eggs that they deem that are not so healthy or not so not so good to be fertilized so only after day eight or day nine you start to see a change in the color All right so the color is not really an indication on whether the eggs are healthy or not it's just a question of maturation and it slowly develops into this black color egg mass towards day number eight onwards so you can see that it's a slowly a gradual development and i'll explain a bit more on why do some of these eggs are actually turn blackish in color so you have day 8 day 9 and if you go on to day 10 and 11 you can see that it's actually turning into full black color uh, which some of them you know, say is slightly even dark purple uh, something like a sodium permanganate uh, color when it's still inside the jar um, so just a good comparison between day 11, 1 and day 11 you can see that this is quite a good case because we did not see a reduction in egg mass in fact some of the egg mass actually got bigger um, or remain the same shape because sometimes it's common for the crabs to lose a lot of their eggs throughout the day 1 to day 11 process so this is actually a good uh, characteristic of the crabs being able to retain a lot of the egg mass under its abdomen all right so this is what actually happens throughout uh, the timeline you know as you grow older or throughout the 10 days the eggs tend to mature over time but under a microscopic point of view this is what is actually happening right so the first three to five days you know you actually see that eggs that are just like egg yolks are being unfertilized and towards the end you start to see formation of larvae or you can see that this is the eyes actually inside um, sorry this is claws and eyes inside the eggs and you can see the gradual development over time so this is also accounting for you know the changes in color that you see earlier on and this is actually taken by a microscope i think it's about 40x all right so this is what happens after the crabs hatch or what we call release a lot of the eggs into the water column we form what we call zoya this is called z1 and they tend to look like this under a microscope and this this is how we know they've actually started to release a lot of these eggs into the water column so 
we typically use a microscope to monitor them and to check on their development on whether they are feeding on the artemia that we're giving on etc so this is also a similar uh, z1 of a uh, different crabs that you see over here also under microscope all right so if you want to look at hatchery operations you need to make sure the decent equipment you're going to need is a good grabs of a microscope technique so that you're able to observe the livelihood and how active are these larvae over the course of the hatching period or even before hatching all right okay so this is uh, what happens in Z2 right so this is also a second stage of the zoya stage so it's slightly bigger than Z1 and you know if you look at it it's actually still you have to look at these crablets on what we call zoya 2 under a microscope and if you were to look at how a crabs actually morph from a zoya into a megalope and eventually into a crablet and continuous grow into a crab of this size, this crab is about 1.4 kilograms in size, you will actually appreciate a lot of uh, the species in terms of what they have to gone through to grow up from the even from the larvae stage up to adult stage. Alright, so hopefully uh, you guys learn something in this video and understand that, you know, color is not so much a judge of whether the crabs, uh, the eggs are healthy or not. Uh, what you have to take note is, for example, egg mass and, you know, does not drop a lot of egg mass over the spawning period. And once it's spawned, you need to use a microscope to check on the livelihood on the larvae. So that's really important techniques to, to take, take note at. So hopefully you like this video, just a short one to educate everybody on how do we look at uh, buried females and for those who are extra interested in the hatchery operation, hopefully this video helps you. Alright, so thanks again for checking out our video and we hope to see you back again in Rasekoculture.